finally skate with the team, still in a non-contact, but it's got to feel pretty good to get back on the ice with your teammates. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, anytime you miss, um, you know, any amount of time with an injury, it's always uh, pretty frustrating. So to take that first uh, big step in my recovery and get to skate with the team is uh, is huge. It's a big confidence boost for me, and uh, just nice to be around the guys. Yeah, yeah, I was going to mention that too. It's been a little bit frustrating of a season for you this season. How have you been able to stay, I guess, fit mentally and physically, and just on top of all that, with the amount of time you've been sort of off the ice? Uh, I think just for me, knowing and understanding my role on the team, um, you know, being, uh, being, you know, try, try to be a leader on and off the ice. Um, you know, when I'm unable to play, try to stay involved with the guys in the dressing room, uh, help out guys whoever I can. And, you know, the end goal is we always want to win. And um, so even when you're not physically on the ice for the games, you try to do whatever you can to, to help the team uh, in whatever, you know, is necessary. And it's been good for you too, I guess, to get back on the ice. Like you said, it's been quite some time, but just what's that do for your confidence wise to know that um, you're getting closer and closer to finally getting back to game action, basically. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, it's very frustrating, you know, having to go watch the games every night. You want to be out there helping the team, uh, you know, helping the team try to win. And, uh, you know, I think it uh, puts it under the microscope a little bit when the team's not winning. You just want to do do whatever you can to try to help. So, um, you know, we got a big push here, uh, you know, coming in towards the last uh, little bit of the season here. So, um, you know, we, we have a lot of belief in our group. We know what we're capable of. And, you know, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to, to help push the team in the right direction for this last little bit. And how big is this week of practice? Obviously, the road trip not really going the way you guys would have wanted, but with the big basically four point games coming up here against Chicago, just how big is this week of practice to get set for those games? Well, it's huge. And I think uh, everyone in that dressing room understands that. Coaches understand it. The whole organization understands it. Um, you know, we only have a handful of, of uh, games left here down the stretch, and they're all going to be four point games. So, um, you know, we need to do whatever we can to get ready for the weekend and, uh, you know, make sure we, we get the first one. We're still going to take it one game at a time. You know, you can't win both unless you win the first one. So we're focused on Saturday. And the Chicago team, you know, where they are in the standings, fourth place. So these points are pretty much crucial basically playoff games for you guys right well, I think every game for us coming in uh, you know now is a playoff game but you know we're not trying to look too far ahead not trying to worry about you know getting on a roll getting getting whatever it's just it starts with that one game and you know hopefully we can get the two points on Saturday and then start worrying about Sunday finally stick to reading today you guys are going out into the community to read some kids I guess how nice is that for you guys to get into the community and uh, go visit with some kids today too yeah you know it, uh, it provides you a little bit of perspective uh, you know it's always uh, a lot of fun to do things like this and um, you know going to an elementary school seeing some kids that are pretty excited to see you is, is a cool feel and you know we were always there once uh, you know whether it's in your in your hometown with your junior team or, or whoever it is uh, you know I was that kid pretty excited when uh, you know a Saskatoon blade came in to read to me so it's a lot of fun and uh, you know we're all looking forward to it